Hi everyone, Steve Sailing Allison. Just a short one today, really interesting one. Well, I hope it is anyway. Um, what I'm looking at is the earthing of the 12 volt uh, system. So first thing I need to do is check whether there is a common ground between the 48 volts and the 12 volts on the, the 12 volt converter. And then we're kind of gonna take it from there. Because if there is a, a common connection, then the 12 volts is grounded through the 48 volts ground, so that's all done. But uh, otherwise, we will we'll need to do something about it. Morning. Well, didn't turn out to be such a short video after all. So I've done my research now, and uh, it looks like I made a fairly rookie error, really. Uh, I kind of assumed that the ne negative on the inverter charger would be attached through to the frame. So if I earth the frame, then um, the 48 volts would be earthed as well. That turns out not to be the case, uh, which I suppose is fair enough if you think about it. So what I am going to do today is I'm going to take the 48 volt negative and then I'm going to take it through to the common ground which uh, on this boat is the, the main zinc uh, on the outside of the hull. So uh, I'll just show you uh, where I need to route everything. So at the moment, this is the negative from the inverter charger, this black one here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out and I'm going to uh, actually reuse that hole uh, for the solar power because uh, I haven't got a hole for that at the moment and then I'm going to drill a bigger hole to run the 50 mil cable through uh, to this um, box this bus bar here and I'm going to put another bus bar on the outside of the box which will have the um, main 50 mil cable that goes down to the earthing point and it will have this cable as well so attaching it all back together probably not too bad a job especially now i've got my uh, new um cutting uh what they call you know the 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 drill bits that cut big holes uh so i should be able to uh, drill the hole into uh, the this box fairly quickly and then um, attach it all up. Um, it won't take me too long, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, famous last words. So that's the hole drilled. So that's the first end connected uh, using this and a hammer. Um, these are pretty good. I think they do a good job. Um, they're supposed to be, if you're not doing an awful lot, maybe I would have been uh, worthwhile considering the amount I've done getting one of the ones that's, uh, you know, a handheld one. But uh, yeah, it certainly does the job. So here's the new um, ground lead. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that uh, I haven't got uh, the shrink heat shrink on there yet. Um, I've run out of the big stuff, so I'm going to have to order that. Um, I will uh, go and replace it or uh, put, put it on. But uh, for now, it should be all right. Uh, this is uh, Ocean Flex tin copper cable, so uh, it's pretty resistant to uh, any corrosion. Anyway, I will do that uh, next week or so. So... <laughs> This is the new bus bar that I put in. Uh, that's from the uh, battery negative. Uh, this is the negative of the inverter charger. And then this one goes down to the ground, which is there. And if I check, oh, excuse me. So I've got my, uh, my meter on connected to the 12 volt negative and you can hear in the background that beeping noise which is telling you that the 12 volt and the 48 volt negative are uh, now connected up 
which is great news.